In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create awesome anime characters using MS Paint. While MS Paint can be a bit tricky to use for detailed anime drawings, I've got some great tips and tricks to help make the process easy and your art look amazing. Let us start by opening the MS Paint and setting up the canvas size according to our art requirements. Once the canvas is set up, it is important to choose a light color to draw the basic outlines. For example, in this case, we have chosen the yellow color to match the demon dome theme. Next, we'll begin by sketching the basic shapes such as rectangles or circles to help us visualize the placement of the face and use the curve tool to draw the rough outlines around it. This will help you to get a sense of the character's proportions and pose before moving on to further details. When drawing the basic outline, it can be very helpful to use the reference image as a guide. To do this, you can draw a rectangular box around the face of the character in the reference image. Then open the reference image on a separate screen or a device such as your phone. By doing this, you can easily check and draw every curve in the right proportion, making it easier to get the details right and perfect. It's important to remember that drawing curves to perfection can be a tedious task and it may take multiple attempts to get them just right. But don't get discouraged. Patience is key when it comes to drawing. With practice, you'll develop the skills you need to create high quality anime drawings that look just the way you want them to look. After you have finished drawing the rough outlines, it's time to create the final outlines using black lines. You can adjust the thickness of lines in the drop down menu here or by using the keyboard shortcuts such as Ctrl plus to increase the thickness or Ctrl minus to decrease it while the curve tool is selected. Once you have the final outlines in place, it's time to remove the rough outline. You can do this either using a eraser tool or the bucket tool. To use the eraser tool, first choose the color you want to remove. You can do this by using the color picker tool to select the color directly from the canvas. Then simply right click and drag the eraser over the area you want to remove. To use the bucket tool, select the color you want to remove and then left click to fill the area with that color. Finally, right click to restore the area to the second color, which in this case is white. By doing this, you can ensure that the final product looks clean and polished with no rough edges or unwanted lines. One common problem here you can face is that the eraser tool doesn't remove colors as expected. Try selecting the entire canvas, cutting it and enabling the transparent selection from select menu and then pasting the canvas Back. This should resolve the problem and allow you to use the eraser tool properly. Once you have a clean outline, it's time to move on to coloring your anime character. I recommend starting with the hair as it is often one of the easiest parts to color. To choose a color that isn't in the color palette, you can select edit colors and use the two sliders to adjust the color until you get the desired shade. Once you are happy with the color, click OK to save it to the color palette. Alternatively, you can easily copy a color segment from your reference image and paste it on the canvas. Then use the color picker tool to select the color and save it to the palette. This is quick and easy way to get the exact color you want without having to manually adjust the sliders. Start coloring the skin in a similar fashion as shown in the previous real-time video. Additionally, it is important to note that the eyes are the most important part of anime drawing as they greatly contribute to its beauty. To begin, fill the eyes with the proper light color as taken from the reference image. Then use the pencil tool to start shading and blending different colors. In this drawing, the pen tool was also used to write the Japanese characters in the eyes as it provides a great edgy text. For final retouching, open another software called the Paint Tool SAI, which is very popular among anime artists community. Select the airbrush tool, choose the optimum size and low density, and use the magic wand color difference to start selecting the areas you want to add shades to, such as the hair. Then select back the airbrush tool and roll over to see the results. That's it. You have mastered the MS Paint for drawing anime. Mention your questions in the comment section below and I'll try to address them as soon as possible. Alternatively, I can also make a new video about the topic. Happy drawing!